dream about as a kid, and you've lived it. I know. I've, I've seen blokes do it, and I've wanted to be in that moment. Yeah, I really don't know what to say to that. That was unbelievable. Just hook me up to that, Robbo. Oh. Those scenes on the boundary line. I used the word exhilarating last week. You can't buy that. No. You, that, that, people talk about everything. You cannot buy that. We need it in our lives, moments like that. And well done to Jamie Allen. Well done to Collingwood. They are riding this wave, you know, and people are saying that Collingwood's everyone's second favourite team. No, that's a lie. <laughs> Collingwood is the second favourite team of nobody, right? Of nobody. But I tell you what, the respect for Collingwood is immense at the moment. It was just, it was beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So nine in a row and never more thrilling than that is there was a point in the last quarter where it looked like there was just exhaustion. The toll of all the close games, an excusable exhaustion mm. at that. And then you tap into the belief that builds and Jack Crisp goes on a run that he doesn't quite know where he's going to finish up. And it changes, it transforms the Collingwood players out on the ground and then just going back and watching it, just individual... It was almost, almost every player has an individual moment. A spoil, a tip, a tackle... Oh, everything, everything, a tackle, some, a, yep. a good piece yep, of yep, judgement. Yep, yep. And then they get an ounce of luck as well. But... This, this, God, this, this, you're right. Yeah, there, there was... If you could watch the last five minutes again and write down every little thing that worked and didn't work and just the contribution from both teams. It was, it was quite amazing and... That last 22 seconds, the kick from Pendlebury, it reminded me so much of what happened in 218 with West Coast taking it from one end of the ground. Everything had to work. And in, by millimetres, it had to work. So Pendlebury's kick to a running more, it had to work. So bring him from Pendlebury, but it's no surprise. So Moore got it. Gallop, run, young man, like you do. Very few key defenders run like Darcy Moore. So you do what you do. And Trent Bianco, he's thinking, my God, the ball's coming my way. How cool. The kick of his life. He kicks it and it just gets over. Just gets over. And he marks it. It was like, wow. You're watching it thinking, this is extraordinary. And when he kicked the goal, it was well done. It was such a fantastic team. It, what, what's, what, when I ask you what is belief, what is belief in football? When you look at Collingwood, and we've got Craig McRae coming in, the art of coaching, what is the art of coaching? How do you instil belief? How do you instil confidence? Take the game on. Yeah, so I would say you can't, you can't preach it and you can't con people into thinking it. So that's up to the players as to whether they believe or not. And even before that, the first thumping goal goes through in the, what did they, it was three and five minutes. Yep. You could see how it had manifested. No, 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 we do this. This, this, yeah, this yeah. is our thing. It's yeah. their intangible it's now. Your, yeah, absolutely. It belongs to that group. They can, it, can, it can manifest however it like. They can talk about it, how, but they believe in it. But it belongs to McRae as well as coach. I, I can't wait for him to come in and hopefully... Let us into his head a little bit. Don't just give us cliche answers if he's listening. <laughs> Craig, please, try and let us into your head because it's, it's astounding what your football club's yeah, doing. Yeah, and then it always takes two. This is probably the worst defended kick-in, or certainly of the year, and probably yeah. ever. Are you, are, you, are you sitting there really angry, disappointed, no, I'm not, serious I'm not Essendon? angry, but I'm, this I'm is not. not having your heads in the game. No, but... No, it's, it's not it's guarding not. again. So what happens no. if he misses... No, they misses weren't. It? They weren't. They weren't. But, but the game itself, Jared, it's amazing, this game. A flick of a coin, as my brother said to me today, a flick of the coin and Harry Jones kicks that goal, everyone's saying, what a win by Essendon. Yeah, yeah. Seven goals down, they come back and beat Collingwood, the MCG. A Flick of a kick, the width of a post, because it nicks it. It's oh, one of the great wins of Ben Rudd's career turns into one of the worst defensive efforts in his career, and we've seen some really poor defensive effort. When Essendon get better, that won't happen. We always talk about, well, I don't. We listen to people talk to us about it, about learning. You either win or you learn, and that's what Essendon didn't win, but I tell you what, they learnt so much 
in one game of football, they will be far, far better for including the coach. Including the coach. How did the Ginevan rule go? Because there's no question that this is about one player after the actions of the weekend. No, it they've lost interesting control. even to see... To read what came from the AFL tonight was prefaced with, yeah. Ginevan is responsible for the initial high contacts. I simply don't accept that as a premise. Yeah, they've lost control. They've lost control and we spoke about this last weekend. I do think he lowered a little bit, but the crudeness of that tackle... And it was a crude tackle. It was a hard, crude tackle. We must outlaw that ahead of him dropping a little bit. We've got to have common sense, Jerry. That's all we ask for in football is common sense. When other incidents, when you lower the head, we go, yep, you've lowered your body. This one, that is a crude tackle, and the crude tackle must be paid against on something like that. All right, when, when Craig comes in, I'm going to walk you through how this has evolved across the season. But Mason Cox took to Twitter on his on his own account today. More yeah. riding, Jerry. Yeah, how can well, we yeah, think the AFL that. cares about look concussions look and head-high <laughs> contact after this? But Jack himself, <laughs> well, Jack's used the still as the new profile picture for his As in... <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> he sort of gets it, doesn't we, he? We've lost control and we've got to get it back, yeah. Jerry. We've got to get it back. Yeah, yeah fell's got to get it back. And you're blaming media and everyone, aren't you? Yeah, uh, the whole environment plays yeah. into that moment. Yes, uh, but he, he has been victimised.